Again, my name is Jeff. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that I'm sure many of you are already pretty familiar with, and that's JSX in React. Uh, but more specifically, I'll be talking about how JSX compiles down to vanilla JavaScript um, and how uh, those, that vanilla JavaScript is used by React. Um, but first, hello again. I um, just want to give you a little bit of background as to um, myself and why I chose this topic in particular. Um, so I'm a recent graduate of Full Stack Academy of Code. Any Full Stack? Yes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, and so I'm relatively new to React. Uh, I've been using React for about a year or so. Um, before I was a developer, I was a professional drummer and a freelance web designer. Um, and as a web designer, I was already pretty familiar with um, JavaScript, obviously, but um, I was still, as someone relatively new to React, uh, I wanted to understand how it, would, how it worked a little better, and I knew that JSX was really just kind of an abstraction on top of JavaScript anyway, right? Um, so I figured if I really want to understand how React works, a great place to start would be dissecting JSX and seeing what the vanilla JavaScript under the hood um, is. Um, so that's kind of what I want to share with you all today, my kind of um, exploration into, into that. Um, so just to give you an agenda of what I'll be talking about, we'll start with just a little review um, of what JSX actually is, um, and we'll see what it compiles down to at runtime, uh, that vanilla JavaScript that I was talking about. Um, and then from there, we'll talk about a, uh, the way that um, what JavaScript actu uh, it actually returns, which are these React elements um, and this create React element function. Um, so cool, yeah, let's get started. Starting with um, what is JSX? I'm sure you all have used it in some capacity in your React applications, but just to go over it quickly. Um, JSX is, stands for JavaScript Syntax Extension, um, and all it is is just a syntactic sugar on top of the uh, react.create element function, which we'll check out in a second. Um, and that function returns React elements, which we'll also talk about. Um, but the purpose of JSX really is just to make it easier to visualize our component trees um, rather than have a big mess of these create element functions. Um, and it's similar to uh, templating languages that you might already be familiar with, um, but as Facebook says, it comes with the full power of JavaScript. Um, and again, it's transpiled into regular JavaScript at runtime using some sort of pre-processing build tool like Babel. Um, and the most important part, it's not required for React, um, and that's what we're going to explore, but first, Let's take a quick look here. Um, this is not my component. This is straight from Facebook Docs, just to, so we have a reminder of what JSX actually is. This hello component is returning um, some JSX here uh, in the form of a div with a child of um, this string hello where it's grabbing um, props. So it, uh, when the render function runs, it's going to return hello world, obviously, to the DOM, right? Um, we've seen this before, no big deal. This thing can get a lot more complex as your component grows. Um, but let's take a look at what this thing actually looks like if we didn't use any JSX. Um, so right here, we even in this simple component, we can already see that things start to get a little bit more verbose instead of a nice, neat div encapsulating a um, string. We're now returning this create element function uh, with a bunch of parameters. Um, and you can imagine that as your component gets bigger, these things get a little bit uh, more messy. Um, and if you want to check out what that actually looks like, if you haven't already, uh, if you go to Babel's website, let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, it provides this really, oh, nope. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Yeah. Cool. Can you make a hunt that you're going to start with? Wow. Too big. Too big. Is that cool? Cool, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is um, 
babbeljs.io, and they provide this really cool tool that allows you to kind of see um, what your JavaScript or what your JSX will compile down to at runtime. Um, and it gives you all these different options of um, different iterations of JavaScript. Um, here we're just using ES2016, which we'll stick with so we can really take a look at these react.create elements. And here we have this component that's not too much more complicated than the last one. Um, it's just a container, container div with um, H2 inside and then another content div inside with a, uh, H2 and an UL inside of that. Um, so not too bad, but if you see on the right, it's just this big mess of nested create element uh, functions, right? And it kind of, you can kind of see um, in the first one there, the first parameter being like what kind of, uh, what kind of element you're creating, the second being some sort of like properties object, and the third being uh, whatever that elements children is. Um, so if we go back to, let's see. No? Hang on. Yes. So if we go back to that original component that we had here, um, just to kind of talk about those parameters in a little more depth, um, specifically the create element function is going to take three arguments, the first being the type of element that you want to create. In this case, we're creating a div. Um, those can be any standard browser element that you would expect, like a div or a span or a paragraph uh, tag. Um, or they can be classes or functions that you've created that represent your component. So in this example down here, um, where inside the render function, uh, you can see the first parameter is actually hello, which is reference to that uh, hello class up there. Um, the second parameter you're going to pass in is going to be uh, any sort of properties or props that you want associated with that particular element. Um, inside the hello component, we've set that to null because there's no props that we're passing down to the div and there's no like IDs or class names associated with it. Um, but in the case of the one inside the render function, um, we're passing down the to what props uh, so we can get that hello world. Uh, and the third and final argument is going to be any direct children of that component or of that element. Um, so in this case, uh, our children of this div that we're creating is uh, just the string hello and pulls from props. Um, so cool, right? So we know that at runtime, JSX is going to transpile um, down into just these vanilla JavaScript uh, create element function calls, um, which take a number of parameters and spit out uh, what's called a React element. But we haven't really talked yet about what a React element actually is. So what is a React element? It is an object. That's it, just like a very simple um, object with a few properties on it that represent actual DOM elements um, inside of React's virtual DOM. Um, so all that fancy JSX that we just did um, that kind of compiled down to these function calls uh, really can just be boiled down to these simple objects, and I'll show you what they look like in here in just a second. So, all right, so we have uh, this little function here that returns an element, um, just a simple bit of JSX in the form of a div. You give it an ID of greeting, and Inside, it's got a child of hello, um, and down here, as you'd expect, we render that hello component to the DOM. Um, but as we've already learned, right, these things can just compile down to um, vanilla JavaScript function, this guy. Um, so that same element, it's the same thing, except for uh, now we're using vanilla JavaScript, right, the create element um, function call where we pass in div is the type, our props object has an ID of greeting, and then its children is going to be hello. Um, but I figured we could check out uh, what this element actually looks like, and that's this over here. And sure enough, it's an object um, with properties on it that we've already kind of talked about. You've got your type div and your children of hello um, and an ID of greeting. 
These other props here are things that are um, kind of taken care of for you by React. This one specifically is like some sort of security thing. If anyone actually knows what it does, you can tell me. Um, uh, but yeah, the, I guess the, the point of this is to see that, you know, you can have all this fancy Java, uh, JSX, but really it all boils down to um, just objects. And for me, you know, as someone that was new to JavaScript frameworks, this was a big aha moment for me because you know, seeing JSX for the first time, I thought there was some sort of like magic to it. But really, at its core is just JavaScript, right? That's about it. Um, it just to summarize uh, you know, what I've talked about, uh, JSX is just syntactic sugar over that create element function. Um, the create element function takes an element type um, and a props object and any sort of direct children as its parameters, and it returns a React element. Um, those React elements are just JavaScript objects with properties that describe that particular element. Um, and these React elements can kind of be nested inside each other to describe any of your uh, component trees. Um, some resources I wanted to share with you guys before I go um, that kind of help me understand a lot of this stuff. Obviously, that first thing we took a look at was uh, babbljs.io um, that helps you look to see what your JSX is going to compile down to. Um, and then there's this, if you want to follow the rabbit hole even further, um, there's this great talk by this guy, Paulo Shaughnessy, who does a talk called Building React from Scratch. And he'll actually go down into the create element function itself and kind of show you what, uh, what, it's, what it's actually doing under the hood. Um, and speaking of under the hood, there's this awesome blog post uh, called Under the Hood React that kind of does a stack trace from uh, React like start to finish. It's really cool. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much again for letting me speak. Um, yeah, that's it.